Hello, good evening or good day to everybody. This is Mr. Orvin again and I'll discuss lesson three of our IC3 module A Computing Fundamentals. Uh, this is all about networks and mobile devices. So let me share first my screen. Okay, so this is lesson number three. Let me just uh, put it on a reading view. Okay, we're going to discuss here as our objectives, the benefits of networking, basic data network concepts, how to obtain internet service, broadband technologies and speeds, LAN hardware and addressing, Ethernet connections, Wi-Fi connections and wireless security, basic cellular network concept. So since our discussion is not only in the network and internet, we will also uh, discuss the cellular network concept because this is also where you're going to connect to the internet, not only using a network or an internet through Wi-Fi, uh, but also through cellular network or we call it data. Uh, how to obtain cellular service, how smartphones and tablets connect to the internet, basic telephone, network concepts, and how to configure and use a voicemail. So let's start with a network. What is a network? A network is formed by connecting computers together. Um, okay, so this might be a simple concept uh, because we just have one computer to another computer. So again, it's a laptop to laptop, laptop to desktop, mobile phone, smartphone to laptop, smartphone to desktop. All are these computers and when you connect them together via a connection which is like a cable, okay, that's one way, or wireless, which is your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, that's also called a network, but it doesn't stop there. We're not connecting computers via hardware only. When you say hardware, physical connection. Okay, we don't connect them by cable only, or we don't connect them via uh, the Wi-Fi or the wireless only. What do you mean, Mr. Orvin? It means that you need to connect also the software, okay? Because ultimately your computer will communicate. Okay, or we'll share something, we'll share resources. And this is be going to be done by the software. Okay, so again, connection is fine. Okay, if you can test the connectivity of this, they're fine connected to each other via cable, via Wi Fi. But if there are not, they are not talking, your computer is not talking to the other computer, then you don't have a network. Okay. Now, if you have an, a, a one network, let's say a computer laboratory, which is 224B, okay, that's already a network, and you have uh, another computer laboratory, laboratory, which is 238S, two networks connected to each other is internetwork, internetworking. That's where the internet really came from because of the um, progress in the connection, the development in the, the connection of different computers, then we have connected different networks, then we have ultimately the global connection of different networks and computers is the internet with a capital I. Network infrastructure is the hardware that supports networking and internet working. Okay, so all of these connections, cable, Wi-Fi, your um, access point, okay? So if you go to a vicinity, how come that I'm receiving a signal, okay? Which is, there is a Wi-Fi available, okay? You can see from uh, here, when you go, when you have a, uh, an example here, when I click this, which is my network connectivity, I can see different Wi-Fi, okay? Availability here. Okay, how come? Because of those hardware, which is the access point, 
okay, which is having, uh, you're connecting your device to a device called the access point, okay? In your house, that's your router, broadband router, uh, with already the Wi-Fi built in with it, okay? So that's it. Let's continue. Why network? When you network, you can share files, resources, internet connections, as simple as that. Why do you need to do a networking? Because you want to share files, you want to share resources, and most importantly, you want to connect to the internet. I think that's what most of the people love to do right now. I mean, uh, we cannot, we can barely live, that's a fact, the, uh, without connecting to the internet, isn't it? Or communicating to the others. But again, not only sharing these resources, files, and in connecting to the internet, it's also communication. Why do we need to connect to a network? Simply questioning, why do I need Wi-Fi always when I go out? I'm looking for a Wi-Fi at this restaurant, at the mall, and so on, okay? Internet connection sharing. So now, if I have in my laptop an internet connection, okay, I can share this connection to anybody. Okay, you can enable internet connection sharing by creating a simple home network. All your devices can share a single internet connection. So, using my laptop, connecting my smartphone, connecting to my laptop via Wi-Fi, I can do that. Or even my smartphone, okay? If I am outside, I don't have Wi-Fi availability, but I have data on my mobile phone, I can use Bluetooth by connecting to the uh, to my smartphone, to my mobile phone, and uh, have an internet connection, okay? So that's uh, one of the advantage of having this uh, connection sharing. Let's proceed. Okay, some terms that's very important for you to understand is streaming and downloading. So of course, why do we need to differentiate these two? because uh, it's actually on the concept of watching movies before. Uh, but nowadays, it's really useful. Uh, ever since we have this pandemic, we are at home. So we used to have, we used to watch movies a lot, especially before, um, yeah, uh, the start of this pandemic. You are at home, everybody's locked down, everything is locked down. So that's why you watch movies. So you have to understand what's downloading, or maybe you already understood what is downloading and what is uh, streaming. Okay, downloading is a process of copying a file and any type of file from a server on the internet to your device. So this file is on a server, another computer, a far away computer. So example is Netflix. If you download a movie there, probably Netflix is in the US, okay? That server that they have. So you download the file, it will be copied on your computer. Streaming is the process of having file delivered to your device in a constant and steady stream. So now streaming is not the same as downloading because you're not copying the file on your, the whole movie file on your computer. You're just Receiving packets, receive packets, it will store, it will be stored in your RAM. And if not enough, your RAM is not enough, you have a cache, okay, on your hard disk. It will be stored there back and forth, so something like this, and it will be erased once it's finished. Okay? So uh, that's that's how it do it. So live, streaming is live. Okay. Basic network technology that we have to define, uh, network transfers data in small units called packets. Okay, we're going to discuss this in uh, module C. Uh, you can understand what is a packet, but just uh, for you to understand, a packet is like delivering um, a complete email or a paper, for example. You want to send a paper to somebody. Uh, a mail, uh, a paper when I say a mail, mail that is written on a paper, okay? When you send that com uh, uh, with the analogy of the network or the computer, the, he will not send the whole paper, okay? Why? 
because it will not fit okay the wi-fi uh channel or even uh the cable i mean meaning i'm not saying physically it will not fit up because of the bandwidth that we're talking about i think you heard that of the speed of the internet okay so it will not be in one whole package and that is also part of the protocol when you say protocol it's the procedure on how to do things so what he will do he will divide okay he will divide a um the paper the mail paper that we have like for example he divided to 18 pieces it doesn't matter if it is same size each division no 18 pieces of paper small one by one he will send it that's what we call a packet okay but anyway we'll, we will discuss that in module c living online so the, let's leave it there data networks use tcp ip as their networking protocol transport transfer or transport transfer or transport is letter t uh, control protocol transfer or transport control protocol slash ip internet protocol there these are two important protocols uh, being used in the internet world okay so if you're a computer science you're going to most likely understand this but for now in ic3 what you really just need to understand this is a protocol this is a procedure of the computers okay on how they send packets on how they send and receive packets or information okay uh just for me to demonstrate what is this tcp ip let me just check if i can demonstrate Open network and internet sharing. Now I will just go to control panel. And I think this one is easier. Okay. Right click. Okay. Ah uh, no, I clicked and properties. Okay, it says here the protocol that I'm using, it's marked here. I'll go to the TCP IP. Yeah. Okay, and then properties. These are the things that you're going to see in our uh, network. Okay, TCP IP version 4, TCP IP version 6. Again, it's just a procedure let me see this wireless properties now okay it's just a procedure on let me see this details yeah network connection details okay uh it's just a procedure on how the one computer will communicate to the web server or the the one that's connect as uh, the one that is providing you internet service isp omantel or oridu wherever you are uh, so that's how it, it will be okay so let's proceed okay local area network or lans okay what is a lan and there is another one wan wide area network okay uh, let's just simplify this when a network is being administered only by the management okay or the private company like for example geotech the network or the computers there the connection there is being managed by our it department okay that's called a local area network okay a wide area network is when there is already the presence of omantel or an internet service provider or a wide area network service provider that's what we call wide area network or in simplest term also if it is very far and it cannot be connected by a, a simple connection by me for example uh, via cable or via wi-fi i need to call omantel to connect it okay so i need a telephone which is the fixed line that you're 
uh, if you're at home, you ask Almantel to connect you a fixed time so that you can have a DSL or fiber optic connection, then that's a wide area network, okay? So with the use also of your data, okay, data connection, uh, your mobile phone, then that's again a wide area network, okay? But if it is just connection of your computer to, uh, to another computer at home, that's local area network, in our geotech all all the computers at geotech only that's called local area network okay every computer that participates on a data network must have an ip address i shown you in the control panel but this ip address is like each one of us if you want to be reached by uh by a mail or a book, uh, or by a courier like Aramex, DHL, FedEx, uh, you must have an address, okay? And that's what also a computer is. For it to be reached by a mail, or not a mail, but a communication from another computer, then it must have an IP address. Again, it's a protocol, it's a procedure. It cannot work without this, or it will not work without that. So again, how do you, do you know the IP address from control panel? Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. You click on the Internet connection that you have. You can see here IP version 4, IP version 6, and this is your IP address. If you go to the details, okay. Okay, so that's what we're using. Let's proceed. Basic network technology, finding your IP address. I've shown you already the network connection details. Let's proceed also. Obtaining internet service. Service providers include phone, mobile companies such as DSL or fiber optic service. DSL is the, the digital subscriber line. Before it's just a cable, a coaxial cable, a big cable, uh, which is a wire. This one fiber optic is different because fiber optic is a glass. Uh, it's faster because it's used light. Light is faster than electricity. That's the definition. Okay, in US, there is a cable TV providers which they use cable television. Again, another cable, coaxial cable, wire also, that they provide movies, and uh, not movies only, sorry, uh, TV programs or channels, or like for example, here you have OSN, but that is through satellite. Okay, that, there what they're doing is, or it's it's an old technology, maybe 50 years ago. This is what we have uh, in the US, but here I'm not sure in Oman. Um, there is a company who connects television service, and they also, right now in the 90s and the 80s in the US, Aside from giving them that uh, cable connection of only the TV programs, movies that they can watch through HBO and so on and so forth, it has also another connection. So one connection is for TV, another connection for the internet. It is already packaged there, but that was, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Now we do not have that. Either you have fiber optic, DSL, uh, there are also satellite companies in the U.S. that makes internet connection, but it's not popular. Okay, it's not popular. Right now, satellite uh, is being used by the military, not the, uh, or the NASA, if you're familiar with the NASA. I mean, the space, uh, you know, space agency of the U.S. Okay, obtaining an internet service, of course, you have to pay. It has a cost mostly, but some of the countries, it's, but here it's not <laughs> unfortunately okay if it is available also I mean like if like for example if you go to a place like here in Mabela uh, it's just recently that we have the fiber optic connection if you go to Halban maybe they don't have yet if you go to Alpha Lodge maybe they don't have the, the far away places okay so that's why another one is availability Okay, and the desired speed. As I said, we mentioned DSL, fiber optic, and cable satellite also, but again, this is not, uh, this is US prices that we are having. 
okay that were we we were showing you it's us us uh us base table okay but what we have here in oman is fiber optic uh service and the dsm digital subscriber line so some of you uh might be in a place where they have only this cable or a telephone line and we can use dsl they have the dsl connection and uh, most of us already have fiber optic, okay? Connecting the internet to your LAN, local area network. So if you're at home, most likely you have a computer, okay? Now each computer must need to connect to a modem because the modem is the one that uh, translate the signal of uh, what do you call this? translate the signal to the cable okay from your computer which is digital as i told you before it's 1010 now if you transmit this on a telephone line it will be analog okay a telephone if you are familiar okay if in the in in uh, all in an all in the old technologies a telephone you know you have to read you need the modem to do that to connect but with the DSL also, you need a fixed line, which uh, they will also connect a telephone. So it must have a modem. But the only difference when you were, for example, you already understood how to connect to Wi-Fi, that modem already have uh, the Wi-Fi device all in one. Okay. Um, so aside from that, uh, right now, as you can see, maybe if you have a fiber optic, uh, there is still a modem, uh, but it's not called a modem anymore. It's like a Wi-Fi and then like a, um, there's another call for that. It's a converter, okay, or modulator also, okay. So now, before it was a telephone line, now it's the fiber optic, so meaning light. So before we trans, uh, transmit our, our signal through a cable which has electricity, now the cable is fiber optic, we transmit only light. So that device will convert your computer signal, okay, to light, okay, so that it can be transmitted to your internet service provider which is omantel and it will now transmit this to the internet i mean it's all over the world whatever connection it has it will go to dubai it will go to egypt wherever okay so whatever you don't know that that's why it's it's already a cloud we do not know how the isp is connecting and how they transmit data uh broadband router so as I said before, it was the technology. You can see directly computer. It will connect to the modem. Right now, no more. It has an access point or a modem router, which is just in one device. You have seen this, okay? How it went? I mean, how it progressed? Okay. Before, yes, I, me, of course, uh, 20 years in the profession, in my profession, and I've seen this. I connected through a modem or maybe when you are a kid, you have a USB, uh, your brothers, your big brothers, or maybe your father, they have a USB, they connect to the laptop. It's called modem. Okay, it's uh, the one that connect the, uh, trans, uh, what they call this, uh, convert your signal. Okay, it gets the signal from Omantel, like your smartphone, okay, and then transmit it there to connect to the internet. Okay, wired connection is called the Ethernet. Okay, we, we have a wired cable. It's fast, 1 Gbps, gigabits per second. Uh, there's a fast Ethernet, which is uh, like 15 years ago. Still, we're using fast Ethernet, which is 100 Mbps. And the oldest technology, all technology, 10 based the Ethernet, just 10 Mbps. Ethernet connections are recommended for transmitting important and sensitive data or high volume streaming. Uh, yes, like for example, if your 
you're in a university setup or you are in a company setup, most of the computers will be uh, wired, okay? Uh, it is more reliable because an, a wireless might sometimes be disconnected. And most of the times, I mean, uh, there is a, a, a lot of chances that it will be disconnected. Okay, so to connect your computer with a wire or with an Ethernet cable, you need this, a network interface card. So in your laptop, it's most likely built in. In a desktop, you can see this at the back, okay? This is what the port looks like, the Ethernet port. In your laptop, maybe you can see and check your laptop if you have this kind of uh, port. Okay, but because most, most of the time we do not use this because we have a laptop, but if you, you're uh, curious, you can check your uh, laptop if you have this. I have it also in my laptop. Okay, then you have a cable, then you have a network on, uh, for example, at the university. Okay, a wall, on the wall, there's another counterpart. So you just need that Ethernet cable, connect your laptop or your computer, and then connect to the wall. You can see also in the laboratory, that's how it was set up. Okay, wired connections, adding a shared printer to the wireless wired LAN, uh, turn on file and printer sharing in the control panel, uh, select share this printer in the printer pro uh, properties dialog box. Okay, so I do not have a printer right now, so I cannot demonstrate this. Yeah, I think I don't have, I cannot demonstrate this. Do I have, let me just check, uh, we will check. I do not have, but maybe here we can see something. Yeah, I, I do not have. I cannot, uh, what they call this, uh, share it. Hmm, how about this? Let's see. I don't know. How about those that are offline? It's still no. I really cannot. No, I cannot share it. Okay, so it's not possible from what I have right now because I have a laptop. I'm not connected to the printer or to the server of the printer. So I cannot do what is in here. Okay, anyway, adding a shared printer to the wide local area network. This is how you will do it. Turn on file and printer sharing in the control panel. Okay, then select share this printer in the printer uh, properties dialog box. Now, Wi-Fi, everybody knows how to do it. But anyway, in Windows 10, Wi-Fi gives us networking without wires. Most modern broadband routers can be used to set up Wi-Fi network. A land that supports Wi-Fi is called wireless local area network. The formal name of uh, Wi-Fi is wireless local area network. Wi-Fi is actually colloquial. When you say colloquial, it's not formal. It's uh, it started, it's informal, yeah. Wireless fidelity. If you have know this uh, story, it came from the high fidelity of radio before. In 1980s, we have radio. So when you say radio, the, the, the sound, when you listen to the music or uh, radio station, okay, uh, there is like furniture or electronic devices that they are buying because it's high fidelity, because the sound is very, very good. Now, Wi-Fi came, wireless fidelity is uh, what was coined as a term, okay? So we have wireless local area network. It's a, a very long name. Uh, WLAN also, it's not that good because in, in networking, there is already LAN. So they, they coined this term Wi-Fi, wireless fidelity. Okay, uh, we have uh, to have this adapters, signals, and bands. What are this? Devices use wireless adapters to participate on a wireless LAN. If you have, again, let's go back here, while a network interface card, then we have a wireless network interface card. So in the laptop, it's already built in. You don't have to check on this. 
in a desktop you can buy something to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, I mean uh, you can connect, uh, you can buy a card and connect it to your motherboard to connect it to your uh, desktop. Okay, to have a wireless network interface card. And it's called here, it's called adapters. Okay, but again, it's wireless W NIC. Well, wireless stands use two different frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. But usually 2.4 gigahertz is what is being used. If you're going to click here, uh, this Wi-Fi Lorenzo and this one, uh, they're both in the same device, but I set up 2.4 gigahertz Lorenzo and Princess is uh, the 5 gigahertz, okay, transmission. Uh, wireless LAN signals we can as they get farther away from the transmitter that the wireless acts of course. I think uh, at least the range is 100 meters. Okay, uh, that's maximum. I mean it's very very low signal and it also depends on the walls and where are you located by the way because of you can see those blind spots you can feel that. Okay, if you are at the university, why you're always connected to the Wi-Fi? Because, of course, we have different access points in different locations. When you go there, you will be transferred to another access point. So that's why while walking, you're still connected to the Wi-Fi and so on and so forth. Same as, this is same as the idea of cellular network. Wherever you are, you have connection to your Uridu or your Omantel in your smartphone because uh, it's being in a transmitter, you're connecting there, but when you're going farther from farther from that, there's another transmitter at the next, okay, next, next, next uh, area. So he will transfer you there. It's called the handoff. Uh, security. Okay, the all the security in wireless LAN or Wi-Fi is the WEP, which is not secured. Actually, it's not really secured. Uh, we have now the WPA and WPA2. Uh, this is not current anymore. If you're going to check your Wi-Fi connection, I think uh, TKIP, TKIP, AES, that's, those are uh, the most recent. Okay, but uh, it's not mentioned here just for your information. Okay. Uh, connecting your computer to a wireless local area network. If you're using, of course, uh, Windows, you're going to go click this, look for a network and connect. Okay, so of course, for example, TP Link, if I click that one. Oh, it doesn't have a password <laughs> this is the first time i i tried that one but anyway okay uh I tried the TP link and that's why I was cat. Now I have, I'm back on this Lorenzo. So how about Orvin? If you can click that, it will ask you for a password. If you click this, it will ask you for a password. Let me try again. Huh? Maybe I'll be cat again. Okay, I think I'm back. Okay, so that uh, network connection is here. Let me just show you. So earlier I was trying uh, the Omer and somebody else, yes. Okay, so it will ask for a password, a text box will come out and it will ask for a password. Okay, so that's how you connect to the internet. So let me share again my screen. 
Okay, just follow the steps. Okay, now we're finished with the network. Okay, either wireless or wired. Okay, now we go for the cellular network. So mostly, of course, it is because you have a smartphone and this is where you connect uh, to the internet with the data also. Of course, uh, basic is that you're connecting your phone to a cellular network and to call somebody to send message to somebody but you will uh, most of the usefulness of your smartphone has to be there if uh, because you need an internet connection okay i mean uh, the smartphone purpose why you have a smartphone is because of the internet connection okay um, because if you do not have need the internet connection then you need, don't need to buy a smartphone it will be just a like a an e e reader or uh, yeah a book book reader e book reader <laughs> okay or like a storage like you want to play music so that's gonna be the use of your smartphone that's why it's very important uh, to have an internet connection anyway that's uh, I I think you got the point. So cellular networks carry voice, text, and digital data through a range of frequency signal. Of course, the signal is coming from, you can see that from your mobile phone, there is this Orido five bars. If your, your signal is low, that means you're far from a cellular network. That's what we call cellular network. Cell towers are part of the network structure, infrastructure. Um, counterpart part of this oh, inside a G tech for example is their access point so in oman oman tel and uridu have uh, cellular networks okay or in a cellular towers or we call it cellular site or cell site each cellular network is divided into thousands of overlapping cells or oh, that's why we call it cell sites it's overlapping okay so that means the signal of this is actually coming out here until here and then this one is coming out here but for better understanding when they plan this they make this kind of hexagon pattern so that they can easily you know uh, easily have a smart uh, 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 a subscriber in one point that it has a signal okay so of course there are still some places areas here in Oman that have no signal that uh like for example when you travel going to dukum for example going to salala there will be places that has no signal and that's um you know that's that's natural okay that's normal to a country okay cellular generations of course what you are familiar right now is lte long-term evolution i mean they start stop, stop the generation generation but i think you started with the 4g or maybe 3G when you started to use the internet. But of course, me, I started to use the 3G, uh, but even the before that, the 2G, we call it 2G. But of course, 2G is for mobile phone. I mean, just connecting using voice. Uh, but with the 3G, when it started, that's the time you can access the internet. Okay. And of course, 4, 4G, it's not only accessing the internet or not only emailing, sending messages, but there are so much more uh, Netflix with the WhatsApp, uh, what they call this different social media platforms, Instagram, different applications, and so on and so forth. Okay, now obtaining a cell service, of course, is either you go for a pre prepaid or you have a postpaid, which is a contract. Usually a two-year commitment or not, it depends. Sometimes it, it, it is because you want a uh, a phone okay that's why you're availing this kind of service cellular service plans there are talk text data plan add-ons and so on so how many how many minutes can you use your voice in calling somebody that's uh, when you are post paid how many texts like 1000 messages 1000 means something like this and then the data or also you can have a, a plan and then they will give you like uh, 10 GB in one month and so on and so forth. Cellular devices, you have the basic cell phone. I'm not sure if you're still familiar with that, but 
anyway a basic message sms which is short message service and a call okay now the smartphones of course designed to keep you connected 24 7 store significant amounts of personal and financial data cellular enabled tablets so there are also tablets the ipad and the tablets that you can use or input a sim uh, remember in lesson number two subscriber uh, interface module or oh, subscriber yeah and then, then uh, you can have that on your tablet okay mobile data of course, if you want to uh, connect to the internet and you're using your smartphone, you're outside, you don't have a Wi-Fi, you can avail for a mobile data. Okay, okay, this is what I mentioned earlier, hardwired phones. So of course, in your house, if you ask for a connection from Omantel, even if it is DSL or fiber optic, they will give you a phone, okay? But in fiber optic, it's not that because you need a phone. It's because uh, you just need an identity from the network. Okay, your telephone number is your identity. Okay, unlike before, when we use a modem to connect to the internet, we need the phone, really. Okay, it's not about the identity, but we need his line. And that's where it will go. Our signal will go there. Okay, okay, voicemail. What's a voicemail? Of course, if you did not reach a person when you're calling him or her, uh, then your smartphone or even even MS Teams, if you can remember, uh, there is a voicemail there. After you cannot reach somebody when you're calling him or her, uh, after a beep, you can uh, you know uh, leave a message. Okay. Uh, in WhatsApp or other messenger like Facebook Messenger, there is also voice messages. It's the same concept, okay? Sending, storing, and retrieving audio messages. Each extension is linked to a small bags and so on and so forth. Okay, I think uh, configuring your voicemail, your greeting message should include, uh, this is through a phone. So if you have a phone, you can configure this, okay? But if it is available only. And of course, that is because you have on it is based on your telephone. Anyway, we're discussing this because it's the basic of communication. So when you communicate to others, you have a phone. Uh, it's the same concept as if you have your smartphone and then you cannot be rich. You can uh, put your smartphone to uh, voice mailbox mode. OK, and so on. Okay, leaving a clear voicemail message, plan to include the following items in your voicemail message. Of course, identify yourself, your purpose, and so on, like you're, like you're sending an email. Okay, you can give back also your mobile number or your phone number so that he can call you back. You can ask him to, con to, ask, uh, to call you back. It's very important, okay? Uh, and then uh, think, yeah, thank them for their time. Okay, so I think we end lesson number two, the benefits of networking, basic data network concepts, how to obtain internet service, broadband technologies and speeds, LAN hardware and addressing, Ethernet connections, Wi-Fi connections and wireless security, basic cellular network concepts, how to obtain cellular services, how smartphones and tablets connect to the internet, basic telephone network concept, and how to configure and use voicemail. Okay, I think that's it. We're going to discuss the review questions in our class. Okay, uh, I think that's it for lesson number three. Thank you for watching, and, and I hope you have a nice day. Uh, peace and ciao. Bye.